Hi guys, I'm just about to make a rubber band powered car to answer a comment from James Parkin. James has made a rubber band powered car about a metre long and he's having problems with it. He's had to put some weights on the back. And I'm guessing this is because the wheels are spinning because he's got such a long length of rubber band he's got too much power. To make the chassis I'm going to use this oval plastic trunking that I've used in several of my other cars. If you look at my rubber band powered car number one and my rubber band powered car number eight, they're made using this as the chassis. It's the sort of stuff that electricians use for putting cables in walls. I've drilled a series of holes all the way along my chassis so I can put some cross members across, a bit bigger than this piece, using my flower canes just to give it a bit of rigidity. Alright, got all my cross members ready. I shall hot glue them in place. Right, that's our metre long chassis ready. My wheel assemblies have got these plug in shaped T pieces that fit straight into the end of the conduit. So, so you'll have to have a look at my um, rubber band powered cars number one and number eight to see how I made them. But I'll fit them on there. We'll put some rubber bands on it and we'll see how we go. Right, rubber band attached at the front. Wound round the back axle already. And on this assembly I've actually got a release button that holds it in place. So we'll see if the wheels spin, which I'm pretty confident they will. OK, so wheels spin and we hardly move at all. So now I'll put my washing up gloves, rubber strips, around the wheels to give us some extra grip. So now we've got rubber tyres. Okay, now we can attach the rubber band, wind it up, use my release mechanism to lock it in place you'll actually find that release mechanism in one of my help files as well ok so I can release it by pushing it with my trusty wooden spoon and you'll see there was no wheel spin whatsoever do a close-up of that so you can see that the wheels don't spin. Okay, close-up, just watch the wheels, see if they spin. And they didn't, 
and I'll do it again without the rubber tyres on and show the difference. OK, no rubber tyres. And hopefully you noticed that they spin. So hopefully that demonstrates the difference. If you're going to make a car that's got lots of power, you need to make sure you've got plenty of grip.